Former President Donald Trump reportedly stepping up efforts to bring donors of Florida Governor Ron DeSantis over to his side. In a memo obtained by Politico, the Trump campaign urging the donors to support him as the Republican nominee, despite DeSantis not yet officially declaring a White House run. Still, voters are already picking sides more than a year out. And we are joined now by Niall Stanich, White House columnist for The Hill, and Dan Eberhardt, CEO of Canary LLC, also a Republican donor who is now backing DeSantis instead of Trump. Gentlemen, welcome. And Dan, mm -hmm. let's start with you. What made you switch sure. to supporting DeSantis over Mr. Trump? Well, I, I like what DeSantis did in Florida. I think he won in uh, tw November 2022, and I think he had coattails, and I think that's what we need. I also think with Trump, look, I, I like a lot of Trump's conservative policies. I backed him in 2020, but there's an awful lot of baggage and an awful lot of reasons to turn off voters. And I, you know, and the third reason is I think we uh, Republicans need a bigger contrast between, you know, Joe Biden's age and the age of most American voters. And I and I think Biden versus DeSantis would give us that age contrast and, and hope for the future. And I think that would pull new people into the Republican Party. So oh, interesting. So does a lot of this have to do with DeSantis just being younger than Mr. Trump? Uh, uh, so, some of it does. I mean, I, I think it's it's more about style, substance and lack of baggage. But I, but I, and and I also think that DeSantis has proven he can win and has coattails, and I think that Trump's been on a bit of a losing streak. Yeah, did Trump's indictment play any role in your decision? Uh, no, I I had decided previously, but I, I think it just you know, it it further piles on that just with Trump, there's a lot of baggage, a lot of noise, and you do get conservative policies and conservative leadership, and he is a fighter. But at the end of the day. You know, look, what we really need is we really need to be able to get suburban women. We really need to be able to turn persuadable voters and get them over to our side. And we lost those folks in November of, of 2020. And I think DeSantis has got a better shot to ultimately be able to do that in November of 2024 than Donald Trump. All right, Niall, let's turn to you quickly. Uh, this memo obtained by Politico appears to show the Trump campaign's eagerness to squash any opponent if they can. Will we be hearing more about these tactics with other candidates going forward? Well, clearly Governor DeSantis poses the most serious threat to former President Trump. So that is the threat that the Trump team is focused on quashing if they can. Now, as Dan has pointed out, there's a lot to be said for Governor DeSantis, particularly from the electability standpoint. Personally, I think that this attempt to quash DeSantis or to pull donors over to Trump's side is in a way testament to DeSantis's uh, strength to his seriousness as a threat. Even though former President Trump leads the polls by a significant margin, at this point, Governor DeSantis is clearly the most grave threat to him. Yeah, and recent polls uh, show Trump still with that big lead over DeSantis, some other top Republicans trailing far behind. Um, you know, we hear Dan talking about bringing baggage uh, going forward. Is that, I know that's something that you and I have discussed, Niall, on the show as well. Yes, absolutely. I mean, this is the big liability for the former president. There is clearly a large swathe of the Republican Party who are very loyal to Mr. Trump, who are going to stick with him no matter what. But there are others, including Dan, clearly, who are looking ahead to a general election matchup. And I think their concern is that this baggage, as Dan put it, would uh, really weigh Trump down with a general electorate, with a general election voting population. And that's where the vulnerability is. It's this idea that with DeSantis, you could get equally conservative policies with less of the chaos that the former president almost mm -hmm. inevitably brings in his wake. Okay. And Dan, is there a scenario mm -hmm. where you would vote for Mr. Trump again? Uh, I mean, in in the primary, I think not, not, but in, in the general election, absolutely over Joe Biden. But I, I think, you know, Look, the, the point of this the point of this article, the point of this story is Trump is going after DeSantis donors. You know, I think the Trump campaign's got it wrong. I think that if they turn DeSantis donors off, they're not going to Trump. They're going to go to someone else. I think these are anti-Trump uh, do donors within the Republican Party, and I think that's a problem for the Trump administration. Okay, interesting. Or, or Trump. Dan, as a voter, what do you want to hear from candidates? What does make a difference when you hear it from either DeSantis or Trump? Well, I, you know, I, I want to hear a vision about what they're what they're going to do. I don't want to hear about the 2020 election and this election denialism. But I, I want to hear what conservative policies they're going to act and and contrast and difference between what Joe Biden has done with the foreign policy, with the economy, with education, and with social issues, and what they're going to do. That's what I want to hear. I want to hear a forward-looking vision 
and I want a, a Republican candidate that's going to have coattails down the ballot, help us keep the House, help us win the Senate, help people in the state house and show us what they can do. And I think, you know, based on the, the recent results, I think Governor DeSantis is much better prepared to do that than Donald Trump right I, now. I, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.